What is going on everybody? My name is Salem Sunny. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Here I focus on two things, faith and entrepreneurship. My goal is to help individuals such as yourself be more motivated, discover their purpose, and understand you are God's very best. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Today I want to talk about the importance of financial literacy. Big disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. So these are just my opinion. They're based on my personal experience and what I've seen that has worked for others as well. So take this with a grain of salt, but also do your own research. Believe it or not, a lot of the ills of society today are somewhat tied to financial illiteracy, whether it might be from the high rate of divorce to sometimes suicide and many other things that happen. People often struggle with money and that in turn affects other areas of their life. A lot of people will be like, well, Salem, stop being so dramatic. I don't think that's the case. Well, to be honest, with someone in my position who has talked, travel, seen people throughout the world, I've had the privilege to be in different country and I can tell you, Financial issues translate in any language. Financial issues dealing with not being able to provide, not being able to afford to live in an area where you want to, uh, not get the things that you want, provide for your family, your children, your wife, your spouse, whatever the case may be, that has same effects everywhere. Poverty and all the different things, uh, whether you're in North America, whether you're in Africa, whether in Asia, whether you're in Europe or South America, whatever the case may be, these issues still remain. So for us, being financially literate is something that is very important. You know, long ago, you would have to go and take university level courses for you to learn some of the information that is not readily available on platforms like YouTube and many other places online where you can get the information for sometimes a fraction of the cost or even for free as I'm doing right now. So today this video is gonna be short, but I'm gonna teach you something very important. The rich don't keep their money in banks. Why? Because there's something called inflation. Here's the truth. The wealthy and the rich have access to a lot of this information really early on when they grow up. So they understand that financial institutions like banks are not a traditional way for them to keep their money. Why is that the case? So we have to understand what inflation is. I've seen different numbers float from different videos I've seen on YouTube and some of the stuff I've read online. From government data to private studies, I've seen different articles. But according to inflationdata.com, as of 2017, the average inflation for the year was about 2.13%. So let's just average it out to 2%. So you can probably safely say that that percentage is probably going to carry out in 2018 uh, unless we see some unforeseen cataclysmic financial disaster that hits the country it could increase or it could decrease whatever the case may be how would that relate to you simply put that increases the price of service and goods let's say you went to the store and you see the grocery stores by the time you go out to check out they have those little things you want to buy let's say you wanted to buy a pack of gum and a pack of gum cost you a dollar on january 1st 2018 well that same pack of gum in December 31st, 2018, would have increased to $1.02. That's the cost of that pack of gum. Why? Because of inflation. And as inflation rises, the price of goods and services rises as well. So as you can see, the price of goods and services does not remain the same as the year goes on. It increases by 2%. But let's say, for example, you went and kept your money to the bank because the bank told you it's the best place for you to keep your money. And you went and went ahead and gave the bank your money. Well, if you put $1 in a bank, well, the bank is going to tell you we're going to give you this sweet rate of 0.003% increase on your amount. What does that mean? That means that if you put $1 in January 1st in a bank, by December 31st, you would have $1.0003. Is it not crazy? So in other words, you cannot even afford to buy the pack of gum in December 31st. Why? Because you have less money in the bank, the price of the gum increased, and the percentage that you got from the bank, well, that didn't change at all. So putting money into a bank is actually losing money. Why? Because inflation rises and the percentage you're getting at the bank doesn't rise at all. I know you're probably thinking, whoa, Salem, my bank probably gives me more than that. Well, go check your bank. Unless you have a premium package or a premium customer, they're probably offering you something like 0 0.006 or 0 0.008, or I've seen sometimes they give you 0 0.01. But that's a very, very rare cases unless you decide to tie up your money in IRAs and CDs, which means you cannot use your dollar in three or five years. 
well, what if you need your dollar tomorrow? That's why rich people don't keep their money in banks. Why? Because once you keep it there, it actually loses its value compared to the goods and services in the market. So in other words, really, yeah, that $1 that you kept in the bank is actually only worth 98 cents. Why? Because you cannot afford to buy that pack of gum that is now $1 and two cents. Isn't that crazy that we went through school for four years and no one has simply explained to me inflation and where to put my money after spending close to $80,000 in college education. I know, I'm upset too. So you might be thinking, whoa, Salem, that is crazy. So what should I do right now? Where should I keep my money if I don't want to keep it in banks? Well, here's why rich people differentiate themselves from others. It's the knowledge. It's being financially knowledgeable enough to understand what are some of the vehicles can I use to keep my money. So what rich people do is they keep their money moving. What does that mean? Whether you choose to put your money into a business, into real estate, whether you choose to put it into the stock market, cryptocurrency, whatever the case may be, they put their money where the money works for them now. It has the potential to generate more money. Today, due to technology and the access to information, we can get access to the same knowledge that some of the wealthy people do. So instead of many people where you get knowledge paralysis because you watch like 10 videos on how to make money online, here are the basics, right? Don't keep your money stagnant in a bank account. Why? Because it actually is losing value there. Trying to keep your money moving. So whether it might be investing into a business, stock market, cryptocurrency, real estate, keep your money moving. Find a way where you can put your money so it has the potential to produce and generate more money. That's how you keep your money moving and increase the value of the money that you currently have. As I promised, this is a short video. Subscribe to the channel. I have a more amazing, great content, especially for some of you guys who see yourself as an entrepreneur, you wanna learn how to make money, or you just wanna generate enough money to take care of your family, some of the projects and the dreams that you have, I think it is possible. Being financially literate and knowledgeable of what you know with your money is what's gonna separate you from the majority of people because most people suffer because of lack of knowledge. Well, I hope this was helpful to you. If it was, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you share it to someone else, and I'll see you guys next time. Remember, you got very best. Take care.